All right, so uh, welcome to the Worldwide Center of Math. Uh, we're going to take a look at uh, geometric interpretations of vectors. Um, so the geometric interpretation of vectors, it's really important to consider uh, because vectors are seen in all sorts of mathematics, uh, all sorts of sciences as well. So uh, vector addition, um, we just took a look at that in the last video. Um, when we look at vector addition, we're going to be adding vectors component-wise. When we add them uh, geometrically on the plane, we're going to say that we're adding the tail to head. So uh, we're just going to immediately check out an example of that. Uh, we have the vector 2, 3 plus the vector 4, 1. The resultant vector, add component-wise, 6, 4. And we could just go ahead and draw a vector that is 6, 4. But let's take a look at how we're going to get there. So this is our plane. We have a vector 2, comma 3. 2 to the right, 3 up. And now we're adding the vector 4, comma 1. So we're going to add the tail of the vector 4, comma 1 to the head of the vector uh, 2, comma 3 to get the result in 6, comma 4. So our vector 6, comma 4 looks like this. And we can see that we had addition to get there. Uh, we could have also done it um, 4, 1 plus 2, 3. We'll take a look at that. Now this is going to form a parallelogram. Uh, it's a little bit ugly in this situation because uh, my coordinates are not exactly even, but you can get the picture. So you can either make a triangle or a parallelogram. Uh, the parallelogram method would be to have your uh, tails connecting in the beginning. Tail, tail here. And then you draw from each head the uh, added vector. And you'll come to the conclusion that it's just the vector 6, 4 that we found with the uh, triangle method. So now we can take a look uh, in three space. We can take a look at some addition here. Uh, we have the vector 0, 6, 2, and 0, negative 4, 4. Uh, I've made it pretty simple on myself, so I don't have to draw anything confusing coming out of the board here, uh, as this is our x-axis. So we have 0, 6, 2, plus 0, negative 4, 4. Add the vectors component-wise, 0, 2, and 6. So we'll take a look at this uh, in three space. Uh, it's going to be a little bit more confusing to draw when you have vectors that are coming out of the board uh, that are on the x-axis. So 0, 6, 2. 6 in the y direction, 2 in the z direction. And 0, negative 4, 4. It's going to come back 4 and then up 4 more in the z direction. And the resultant vector, 0, 2, 6. So again, uh, adding component-wise and using this uh, triangle rule to uh, add your vectors, really great rule. Uh, now we can take a look at uh, the geometric interpretation of uh, scalar multiplication. It's going to stretch or shrink your vector depending on if you're um, multiplying by a fractional um, scalar or if you're multiplying by a uh, large scalar. So we're taking a look at uh, half of 8, 4 in 2 space. So I'm just going to draw the vector 8, 4. So here's your vector 8, 4. Now half of 8, 4, uh, you just multiply each component by 1 half. 
So your resultant vector is 4, 2, and you're going to see a shrink from this long vector to a lot shorter vector. Four comma two. Uh, so now I'll take a look at one in uh, three space as well. We have six negative uh, six times negative one two one. That's a vector. Uh, we're just going to multiply component wise. Negative six twelve six. So as you can see, this vector is certainly a little bit more difficult to uh, draw in three space because it's going to be going into the board. Uh, but I will draw negative one, two, one, and then uh, see how that's going to stretch. So this dotted line I just drew, it's the x-axis extended backwards. So that's the negative x direction. Uh, if you can kind of wrap your mind about around that 3D interpretation, and then negative one, two, one. It's going to look a little something like that. It uh, doesn't look that great, but when we draw, or uh, excuse me, when we multiply by the scalar six, uh, it's kind of going to just extend in that uh, into the board direction. And look, a uh, little something like that. That's a very rough sketch, but yep. Uh, vector addition, you add it tail to head, or you can use a parallelogram. And uh, scalar multiplication, you are stretching or shrinking the graph. Thank you for watching. For more math videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel here. Or for additional resources, including affordable digital textbooks, please visit centerofmath.org.